Yo, what's going on, world? You already know it's your boy, Backpack Beats. Yo, what's going on, world? Uh, wind's blowing. Yo, what's going on, world? You already know it's your boy, Backpack Beats. I'm right here at the train station right now. On my way to Chicago, downtown, Thelonious Martin, South Park, Suede, my good friend. Got some stuff going on with Apple Music, so I definitely got to show love. Definitely show love and support my man, South Park, Suede. And then meet one of my favorite producers as well. So I'm gonna definitely do this. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, post notifications. Tell a friend. It's the very first vlog. You see the glare in my glasses, it's crazy. But tell a friend. Very first vlog situation. So we're gonna see how it works. Make sure y'all stay tuned. Backpack season. Oh yeah, also the album is out on all your music streaming platforms. Stop turning, turn. Before I leave, make sure you cop that. Super crazy. Keep it locked. Thelonious Martin is in my top 10 when it comes to producers. My man Sway repping Florida as well. Should be pretty fun. Hopefully they'll let me film in the Apple so it shouldn't have a problem. So it should be fun. Check it out. I also get places early because I get lost very easy. So uh, I think I'm lost. So we're going we gonna to figure this thing out. I think I'm back on track, so we're gonna figure it out. You know, but if you're rocking with it so far, leave a like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, post notification. First vlog. So we made it. Finally. Got the Apple store right here. So yeah, finally made it. Finally. Let's rock. This is exactly why I get places early. Front row seat. Front row seat. Definitely gonna be dope. Super excited. Here we can just check out some of the Apple stuff as well. First time in this Apple store. Beast headphones. MacBook Airs. Taylor Swift everywhere.
Jeff, and my friend Sila right here, and Eddie, who's sitting over there on the right, or anybody in a blue apple shirt, they'll be able to check you in for this awesome event that's about to happen right up front. It's going to get loud, it's going to be fun, it's going to be amazing, so I hope to see you all sitting down here so we can get this show on the road. All right, everybody, we'll see you very soon. Thanks for listening, and enjoy the show. The longest, as you know, is a Chicago-based producer and DJ, um, whose sample-heavy production style has led him to produce for likes of Mac Miller, ASAP Rocky, ASAP Rocky, ASAP Rocky. Who? Gossip concert while you were pregnant with me. Yes, I was in your belly and you went to a Gossip X concert. So I think it was pretty much set from pre birth. You were niggity made for this. Yes, I was yes. niggity. That's a Gossip X reference for anybody born after 2011 that you wish you knew five years ago. Um, I think the easy the easy answer would probably be like, I learned this about music, that about music. Honestly, the, the, the more in depth answer would be, I learned more about the business of music. I went to I went to Columbia College, shout out to Columbia College. I stayed all four years, graduated, walked the stage. They, my mom did so I'm going to Shout out, shout out to education. <laughs> but I never took a music class there. I took all music business classes. I wanted to know what my contracts looked like. I wanted to know the context of the contracts, all that stuff. So making that album while in college and going out and going to Mac Miller's house to get his feature, going to like Damo, like going to all these different people and like, getting the project done was like, it was probably the best college course I ever had. It's regardless of what you create, it's art, music, dance, whatever. You are better off working with somebody who is at your, your level in terms of success, in terms of the, on their way up, than you are trying to get attention from somebody who's already established. What do you think about that? I a thousand percent agree. I feel like if you build something, people will see it and want to come work with you. Reaching out for other people, sometimes it works, I've had my fair share of placements. They're all cool. The thing I take most pride in, in terms of my work, are working with the people and the artists I came up with, grew up with. I remember, shout out to Joey Perk, I remember being in the studio for Joey's like second record song. Mm -hmm. We'll go to Australia next month. That's it. Like that. All right, so I'm just making it back from the Apple store. I'm on my way to the train now. It was a really dope experience, man. Like I said, Thelon Thelonious Martin is one of my top ten when it comes to producers. You know, super dope to get insight. Super dope to get insight on what he does when he makes beats. And I actually got to meet him as well, so that was always super dope. Shouts out to my man Suede. 
that's gonna do it for this video make sure you leave a like subscribe comment post notification you got a lot of stuff going on we're gonna do this vlog stuff more often so until next time back back beats no more free beats <laughs>